Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack. Kraken addiction, more mystery boosters for all of you out there as you stay in isolation, safe with your family and away from your friends, digitally connecting in the virtual world, which if there was ever a good time to do it, we've got a lot at our fingertips now between different levels of social media, Netflix, Hulu, video games, booster therapy. And if you want to support us and you like what you see, please become a subscriber, hit the thumbs up. Most importantly, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post a new video. Right now, it's one every day. Also, become a patron of the channel so we can crack packs for you. And the last one is if you're buying cards, please make sure you click our TCG Player affiliate link. It really helps us out. Without further ado, let's see what we will find. Gut shot. Nice little storm card. Ghost quarter. The mine mist form shrieker. Thalia's Lancers is our first rare. And the Amulet of Vigor. Not a mythic, but it feels like it should be. Wonderful foil rare. I'm wondering how many people have a setup out there that would allow them to play virtually. Um, we've been doing Commander on Discord um, using Whereby and a couple other apps, but you know, it would uh, it'd be interesting. I would love to invite anybody to play with us. So leave a comment below if you have a setup and you're ready to play some magic. Nullspire Dragon, Gin of Wishes, and our foil is the Lich's Mirror, our first mythic, and some hideously haunting artwork. But we, uh, we can get you on our Discord server. We can start inviting people as we look to pass the time between now and whenever this all ends. Um, I would love to play Commander with some of you out there. Rancor, Bloodbraid Elf, both very good. Tinker, the Sewer Nemesis, and Morrow. Look at that guy. Such a friendly looking guy. The Mark Rosewater card, Morrow. Mm, oust. Why couldn't you have been Path to Exile? Demons Shattering Spree is pretty good. Rampant Growth. Armadillo Cloak. Hacking Stormgeld Scourge. One of the better knights out there. Mimic Vat. Love Mimic Vat. And the Fiery Gambit foil. I saw a couple people complaining about the print quality of uh, these cards. And I gotta say, I was actually super impressed. I've not had any warping at all. They've held their structure. They feel nice and durable. Ooh, days. I really think they did a great job with this one. It's just my humble opinion, but feels a lot better than what I'm used to seeing, I guess. Sudden Demise. And Reiki, the history of Kamigawa. Have him in my Captain Sise deck. Bonds of Faith. Anticipate. Ooh, Mull Drifter. We're hitting a lot of the good uh, common on common slots right now. Sakura Tribe Elder. Thran Dynamo. Very good. Sadistic Hypnotist. Serendib Afrit. And the Storm Crow Foil. Everybody see the April Fool's joke? The secret layer with the Yes for Icing uh, Storm Crow. And how sad he was on his Twitter when he found out that it was just a weak non-cyclonic rift bird. Wah wah. Carrion Feeder. Priest of Titania. Tapping for all the elves. Harold's Horn. Very, very good. Glad to see this get reprinted. Assemble the Legion. Another solid one for your token decks. The Deep Glow Skate, a solid one for your Planeswalker decks, anything with super friends. And not of this world. Old Devoid cards. P 
Peace of mind. Ooh, Palace Sentinels. That's a good one. And Trinket Mage. Let's get another Demonic Tutor. It's been a little while. Cultivate. The Bear Cub. He's crashed in price. He was a couple dollar card for a while. Collective Brutality. I'll always take one of these. Another glorious reprint. And the Fate Spinner. Foil. wonder what the design team was thinking when they were building up a foil list for this. I wonder, just in general, to make an 1800 card set that's meant for draft, what the, what the effort had to look like making this successful. Minimally, they got the reprints I wanted. I haven't really gotten a draft yet because of the whole COVID thing. Weather, Weathered Wayfarer, very, very good rare. Animar, Soul of Elements. I forgot he was even in these sets for another Mythic for us. And the Trailblazer Boots. Fantastic foil and common. Artisan of Kozlik, solid uncommon. The Ancient Den, very good artifact land. Liliana, Death's Majesty, we got a Lily out of it. It's always fun when you can crack a Liliana in a box. And the Sinew Sliver Foil. One of the stronger slivers for your decks. If you're into the sliver deck. I know Will is. Ooh, Gush, Thrumming Bird, both very good. Sakashima the Imposter. I've been hitting this one a lot lately. Very good rare. The Green Belt Rampager. Those old school energy decks. I definitely played energy to or energy counter decks. Ravenous Trap. Exiling somebody's grump. Voice of Provinces. Again, some of these cards you just haven't seen in so long that you have to take a minute to read it, process what it is, and then decide. Reese the Redeem, though, every time you see that, you know you've hit a good card. Reese is extremely good. N another much needed reprint. Mamma mia, that's a spicy <laughs> meatball. That's a mana crypt. The best card in the set, and we just hit it for our fourth Mythic. Not bad. And then we got a Chimney Imp with that huge nose for our foil. Man, Mana Crypt. Boy, do I love hitting those. I'd love to see two in a box. I know Pat has done it. It's possible. You've got this much of a random printing like you really can kind of hit anything Ooh, winding constrictor great furnace the doom gape i do feel like i see a doom gape in every single box spawning grounds creating those giant tokens and a foil leveler to exile your whole library Raven, Glint, Repulse, come on, give us one of those good cards. Ooh, Wrath, Compassion, Ship's Mage, put that off to the side for our legendary cards. Renegade Map, got Belb's Portal. Did they put any other of Belb's artifacts in here? I don't think so. Torian Mauler, and the Celestial Kirin. A great card for spirit decks. I don't know if I've ever seen somebody do a mono white Kirin deck where it's just casting spirit deck. I mean, then you can get that out every time. I guess that's the way you'd kind of want to play. I just don't know how many solid white spirit cards are in there to back that up. Plague Crafter. Ooh, Crufix, God of Horizons. Great hit. I forgot there's are all, all the gods are in here, right? Or at least most of them. Eldritch Evolution, another great card. 
And the harmonic sliver, very evil sliver when it comes to Commander. Getting, I mean, basically it's doubling down, you can double down the Aura Shards enchantment and it's a sliver on top of that. Ooh, Mother of Runes to kick us off. That's a great uncommon. Treasure Hunt. Timber Watch, love my Timber Watch Elves. Nemesis of Reason. Oops, bumped the camera. Sword of the Animist. Very good card. And Form of the Dragon. When was this one originally printed? It wasn't, I mean, obviously back then, ninth edition, the core sets were only reprints. So I think that was, was that Scourge? Form of the Dragon originally in Scourge, that feels right. It was minimally that block. I think it was in Scourge. Were of Invention, there's a very useful card. Play that in a lot of the blue decks. A lot of artifact decks should have that. And the Souls Attendant, another much needed reprint. It was starting to creep up there, getting kind of expensive for a little common card. I wanna say it was like five or six dollars. Now I think it's like a buck. The Mystery, ooh, Arcane Denial. I love this artwork too, it's a good one. Dark Steel Citadel. Release the ants with that sweet morning tide artwork. Gosh, it looks hideous. Fibble Fip the Lost. There's speaking of Jesper Icing. Got lost in that pack. And the Frozen Aether. Artifacts, creatures, and lands your opponents control come into play tapped. So rude. Wing Shards, I just had this one go off on the Modern Horizon drafts that are on Magic Online. This thing took out three of his creatures. That's why you should never play creatures prior to attack, <laughs> prior to combat. Gutter Snipe. Cairn Wanderer. Interesting little shapeshifter. <laughs> Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Expropriate. Well, we're hitting a lot of the powerhouse mythics in this one, you guys. We'll just keep it coming. Expropriate. And then the game trail changeling. A 4-4 dragon with trample. I think we've got five packs left counting this one. Five more shots for demonic tutor and... Anything else good that this wants to give us? Fires of Yavimaya. Wargate. Our first rare. Memory Erosion. And Teferi's Puzzle Box. Fantastic foil rare. I think people are pretty excited about that one being reprinted too. That was another one that was starting to get expensive even though the, like, the use was a through the roof. It was just high enough to have a demand behind it and it was not heavily printed. So I think that's a, another much needed, they did a great job really. Wizards, you did a great job getting us a lot of the reprints that we, you know, to help drive the prices down. Font of Mythos. Beacon of Immortality. And the Goblin Bushwhacker. Hoping that when we see uh, Commander Legends, not only do we get a lot of fun new cards, but I'm hoping we get a lot of those powerhouse reprints like Cyclonic Rift and some of those other ones that are getting expensive. Chrono Stutter, one of my favorite artworks in Magic. Of course, it's done by Seb McKinnon. I got this one in the playmat too, and it just looks amazing. Manglehorn is pretty good. Hey, Angelic Destiny. I don't think I've seen a lot of this. This might be the first one I've opened. Solid Mythic. This used to be a bomb in, not limited, uh, in Standard back in the day when this was Standard. Or maybe back then it was Type 1. I can't remember. Commit to Memory. And the Blighted Agent Foil. 
solid little foil common. All right. Ooh, <laughs> we love opening packs with a path on top. Path to Exile, such a useful card. Another one that was great to see the price jump. And a Swords to Plowshares, back to back, just two of the best targeted creature removal spells in Magic, back to back. Nice. Dread Return, love this artwork too. Good card. Caravex Torch. Approach of the Second Sun. Has anybody gotten to cast this a second time in Commander? I feel like the second you get one of these gone, you're dead. And the Runetail Kitsune Ascendant, which flips into Runetail's Essence. Very mean card, especially in Commander when you start with more than 30 life. You got a pretty good shot of that one flipping for you if you can get it out there early. Last pack, what can we get? Factor Fiction, that's a good way to start. There's a little crimping on that for a second. Mm, Jushi Apprentice. Our first rare. Release the Gremlins. This can actually be a pretty evil card. And one with nothing. Okay. Well, that was a pretty stellar box. Until next time, this is Booster Therapy. You all stay safe, have fun, and again, remember, leave a comment in this video if you want a chance to play Commander with us and you've got a setup that would allow you to do that digitally, virtually, anyway. Have a wonderful rest of your week.